the go code snippets channel so in today's video we'll be looking at sending um, emails with an external api which is basically the google api so before we get into the video i'd like to mention um, a few things so the first thing is if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed to the channel please hit the subscribe button um, and also hit the notification bell and put it for post notifications so when i release new videos you'll be the first to be notified and also after watching the um, content of the of this video if you like it and um, also drop the thumbs up and also if you're not the channel you've been watching videos but you haven't subscribed to the channel for some reason please consider subscribing i would really appreciate it so with that and the second thing i would also like to mention is um, i also made a video on sending um, mails with google smtp server using the net SMTP package using to the go standard library so i'll drop a link to that videos to that video in this video's description so with that let's get into the video so the first thing first if you work with is you have to um, have like um, a an account with mailcon so i'll drop um, a link in this video description on the sign up page for mailcon so it is very fast and it's straightforward so after you create the account you'll be asked to verify your email so that's the first thing and once you have that you'll be directed to this dashboard which is basically here and the second thing i'd like to also show us is the um, the documentation for the mailcon api with code so which is basically this so this code here which is the first code usage which is the first code is basically what i have once we get our code is what i have there so with that let's go back to the dashboard so one more thing we also need to like and um, get also is that once you create an account you'll be given a free tier and with that free tier comes like um, a free domain a sandbox domain which is basically this that you can use to send news you get but they also put a restriction on the sandbox domain that any mail that you want to send emails to with the sandbox domain the mail that be receiving the email you need to like validate that email and to do that and this is basically to i think to restrict people sending news to emails that not even exist so to do that you come to send in there you come to him i think is it overview yeah overview then you need to like key in that email here then you add press save recipients then the email will be sent to that email then you need to like authorize it so it even says that sandbox domains sandbox domains are restricted to authorized recipients only so you need to like key in that recipient here then save recipients and then it will be sent to verify the recipient if they can send me to that recipient or else it won't work and that is basically to restrict you sending mail to recipients that might exist email that might exist or just anybody because it is a free tier and you are not paying anything to it so you shouldn't um, misuse the api so i tend to like try to um, restrict people from misusing the api that is it and this is the documentation here which is basically this and what we have here is the code that i have which is right here so this is it here so to do that first thing first is i'm getting my sandbox domain which is um, this email to me which is basically what i have here so i'll come back to my dashboard which is this here so you can just copy this and i'm saving it as a variable then the second thing i'm doing is my uh, mail called private key so this private api key to get it you come to this place then you come to api keys so you get your private and your public api keys so they are meant to be private so that's why they are actually locked so you can just copy this so i copy this and i set it as an environmental variable and i'm getting it with OSKTF and i'm assigning it to this variable mail called private api key so in the code this is very short just at seven lines so the first thing is i'll i'll create the form variable so a form variable is basically where i'm sending this form so that has to be like prefixed or suffix with my mail gone email domain which is what they gave me so i'll just prefix it with a name i want it to be so this one can be any name it can be test user it can be your name it can be client service it can be info it can be whatever and the second one is the two which is the email that we're receiving it and that is basically the recipient email i configured i've configured this because i'm using a sandbox domain i remember i said you need to configure it which is basically what i configured here which is basically my own email my gmail account so i've stored that as an environmental variable also and the i'm getting it to always get them and i'm assigning to this variable too so the next thing is that to um send an email we need to like call to get a mail implementation and to get that we use the function new mail con from package mail con, which is this package here so i'll drop a link to the documentation like i showed earlier the video's description so this takes into variables the domain and the api key so the domain is basically this here and the api key is my private api key so if we come back to this api key the api key is board where is it yeah this so there's a private and a public api key so you might be wondering that why am i using the private api key but not the public api key but there are cases where you use the public api key also the example is when i go through documentation i saw it like email zip verification or validation email validation yeah it is so at this place you can use this particular this is the code to validate email so you'll be using an api key so this is your api key can be public or private but depending so it says that if your plan doesn't include email validation but you have an account so you use your public api key else if your plan includes 
um, a email validation then use the private api key so if you are doing email validation you can use any of it so depending on if your plan includes email validation but for sending emails basically you have to use the private api key which is this one here so and i've stored that as an environmental variable and i've i have it in this particular variable here so i'll just pass it as the second argument so this gives us a variable and the variable is um, the mailgun pointer to mailgun dot mailgun implementation which is this here so on this i'll call the method new message so this method new message takes in four arguments the first one is a from which is this second one is the subject which is just test me and the third one is the message i want to send which is early world test me for mailgun and the last one is the two which is basically where i'm sending it to which is my email that i have actually saved as a recipient on mailgun so once i get the um so this one gives us um, a pointer to a message from package mailgun and this pointer to a message i can just call the method send to send the message this one takes in two arguments the context and the mailgun message so the context basically is um, this context that i created there so i want like a timeout context after 10 seconds if the message does not send just cancel the whole process and that is basically it and the second one is the message i created which is basically this here so I'll just add that as a second argument. Then um, so this one returns three arguments. It returns a message and ID and an error. So it says here that the message basically is an human a human readable status message, which is typically cute. Thank you. So if I'm to print this out, the most likely message I'll get is cute. Thank you. Then the second one is an ID. So this ID is something that I can use to just track cute messages. So if you have like a database that are storing the messages that has been sent, you can use this ID to like um, separate those messages. So it's like the ID is kind of unique per message. So that's and the third was an error. So I'm trying out the two first div and um, first to return values. I don't need them. So I'm just checking for the error. So I'll check for the error. If there's an error, I'll just print it out. Then if there's no error, I'll print out the name is successful. So let's just run the code and see if it's in action. So go on main dot code. So if all things go well so it says send email successful so if i come to my new dashboard here i want you also need to notice this because i'm actually on a free tier all the emails will be coming to my spam what's my inbox so that's why it's coming to my spam and here we have test user which is basically this name here and then we have test me which is the subject this and the message hello what test me for me which is this here so i can open it So this is it. hello what tells me from your then this is the user and this is the subject test okay that is basically so one more thing i'd like to mention before um the before i end this video is you can also send html mails with this so this link is actually a plain text email what you want to send an html email so i actually created an html email or html here where i want to send this particular email and the email is just an hello world and the color will be green so how will you do that so basically to do that it so happens that you just simply ignore this here then on this message variable there's actually um, a method set html yeah this is this HTML takes in the html body which is basically what we want so i'll just put in html as this so how do i get this html from this particular html file so i'll just use go embed to do that so it's going to be very fast so i'll do go embed so by the way i also made um, a video on go embed i'll leave the link of that video in this video description so so that way um, you know what's happening here so i'll do email.html .html. so we can check out that video to see how um, go go embed works and how to use package embed to like embed files directly into your code so i'll just do for html string so this particular variable HTML here is just basically all the text inside this image of HTML. So go embed actually a very powerful feature and it's one that I actually like. So instead of having to like read the file, then get all this inside file and other stuff. So that's like a long process. So there'll be just two lines of code, which is this. I have my whole HTML embedded into this particular variable here. And I'll pass that variable into this set HTML. Which is basically this. Then I'll just simply rerun the code. So that way we can send HTML image. So it will be formatted in HTML format. So it should take on this styling which I put in this place, which is basically a green color. And you take on all this HTML stuff. So that is basically it. So I'll just run the code again. So it says send email successful. So if I come back to this place and I check back my spam folder, I have it here with same test user associates because it's from the same person. This is a yellow word and it's in green color. So which is basically this so 
it is basically this text there's an h1 text that is actually very big and bold then the color is green and this that is basically what i have here so that will be it for this video so before i end the video i would like to say again that if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed please and hit the subscribe button and also click the thumbs up like the video and then also drop any comments that you have any comments any criticism constructive criticism that you have or anything at all that you have drop it in the comment section below and if you're not new to the channel if you're watching videos in the channel but for some reason you haven't subscribed please also consider subscribing i really appreciate that if you do this for me please just help me grow the channel so that's a bit for this video with that, I'm signing out.